Let's equip him. We're gonna drop our slow field. Oh, oh god, he's frost. Oh lord. Oh lord. Jesus, stop it. Oh god. All right. So we're gonna slow field them. And we're gonna see exactly how well this uh, thing works here. We're gonna eat away for it. We're gonna switch. Interesting. Okay. So, new best rocket launcher in the game. Alright, let's see if it... Er, there's official propane test. Let's see if it explodes these things. <laughs> You're like a millimeter away. <laughs> Ping. Here, I'll even shoot from over here and I'll try to get like a rebound shot on it. Off the wall. Yeah, see, I should, I shot it off the wall so it's getting an impact ring and it's still not doing it. Alright. Yeah, oh, let me see the so impact good. ring. Yeah, it definitely does not. What's up, guys? Rounded Tic Tac here. And today, we are bringing you, I just reset the game, we are bringing you the brand. I can't see a damn thing. What's up guys, Rounded Tic Tac here, and welcome back to another uh, video. Our drip fed content is here, and we have a new rocket launcher to dissect, di dissect, dissect, discuss. That's the word uh, I was looking for, to discuss. So, uh, we're gonna load in, grab it, there it is, the Dessa Blaster, right there. Now, first opinions, first, first ideas is, it's going to be one of two things, in my in my opinion. There's going to be no middle ground with this. Oh lord, is the broadside back? That's awesome. That's new. That's new, right? I feel I feel like that's new. Um, we get, let's let's grab the Dessa Blaster. It is a new sh uh, shotgun. Jesus, can't English today. Uh, explosive weapon boombox shoots a blast of sound that pierces enemies. You guys know how much I love piercing, and bounces up to five times, dealing damage in an area with each bounce. Does not consume ammo, but has a low durability. How low is that durability actually? Well, we're gonna have to see. Uh, I'm I'm not sure how good it is my first idea is is that it's going to be insanely good or insanely bad one of the two uh so we're gonna pick it up of course with our super duper amount of gold that we have uh we're gonna max it up with the insane amount of experience we have and then i think i have just enough perk up to get it going uh i had a lot of internet issues this week and i wasn't able to grind any missions and for the past couple of days that uh i've been streaming and stuff is there's been no perk up missions to actually grab anything so it's kind of rough but let's see what perks come on this thing 10 critical rating 38 reload speed physical crit damage and damage to dancing enemies eliminating an enemy with this weapon causes nearby enemies to dance for a short duration i was pretty sure this was the perk we were gonna get uh however I thought maybe it would have a unique one it does not the impact is 2600 at level uh what level is this 20 so let's see when we level this up exactly how high it's gonna go i don't think it's the impact's gonna be too big because it's a it's a ricocheting weapon and a piercing weapon so i don't think the impact's gonna be crazy uh off the top of my head i think the bowler is one of the highest impact ones in the game and i believe that's close to 40k so let's just see exactly how this goes i'm hoping it's like the sci-fi rocket launcher which became a staple in my loadout most guns do not become a staple in my loadout i usually review them check them out and then honestly there's so many that i, I forget to use most of them uh but the deatomizer is definitely a staple in my loadout maybe this one will be too all right so fully leveled up i'm so mad they took away that little bug uh, um fully leveled up we are sitting at 74,000 and 16k impact with a range of 256 so a smaller blast radius which most of these have been oops i forgot a level so 74k and 16629 let's switch over to the perks and let's see what we can do here we have crit rating we have reload durability damage and crit rating i think like all of these weapons you might be able to go double crit damage double crit rating which maybe we will try that here's a crit damage perk here and another crit damage perk here 
So the reload speed on this is 2.2 with 38%, so 2.5. Uh, not too bad, but still still pretty long. Let's let's do let's do a double crit chance, double crit damage build. You know what? You know what? I lied. I think we're gonna keep the reload speed and do double crit damage. So this is the build I am going to run to test this out, at least the first time. Depending on how good it is, I might try it on another character, but we should be able to get a decent idea. Um, I see a decent, I think we'll have a decent idea of if this is actually, you know, worth it and we can try it on, uh, other characters with this build we i this is the only thing i've ever brought resonant frequency for i feel it works really really well on rocket launchers because those shields are so big they get in the way and this allows you to do 26 percent extra damage locked and reloaded of course uh with extra 15 after every reload we're gonna bring survivalists just to be a little bit tanky sub wafers and battle beat to come uh compensate with totally rocking out uh increases our crit rating and we get a little bit of a heal every time we have adrenaline loss and slow field Let's see what missions are available. The missions have been potato the last two days. So let's see if we can find something a little more to our liking and find some people to play with. Right, so we jumped into a 140 mission. I figured let's take a quick comparison between the Deatomizer and the new Desa Blaster. Uh, 105 DPS, 105,000 damage a second. Uh, where is the deatomizer? This one is at 71k. So this does have more damage, a lot more damage, double the damage. But this one, remember, it does have up to four shots in the magazine without having to reload. So that's pretty cool. The damage is much higher. The impact is much higher as well. But again, single shot rocket launcher here. So we're we haven't I haven't shot it yet. We're gonna check it out. We're with our buddy Ortho. Uh, and we're gonna see exactly how much damage this thing does if it's worth using uh, leveling up and trying out I've yet to shoot it. I know you guys like to see my real true reactions uh, We're gonna run around the map and see if we can find something big to kill uh, to be able to really see the DPS again We are in a 140 mission. I have no idea how well it's going to work uh, Maybe we can find a smasher. Let's find out. Let's equip him. We're gonna drop our slow field Oh, oh god, he's frost. Oh lord. Oh lord. Jesus, stop it. Oh god. All right. So, we're going to slow field them. And we're going to see exactly how well this uh, thing works here. We're going to eat away for it. We're going to switch. Interesting. Okay. So, new best rocket launcher in the game. That just hit twice? It did. 800, 800, 100, 1.6 million it just hit for. This rocket launcher just hit for 1.6 million. Um, it also, since it pierces, it's something that you definitely want to check out within a, uh, within like a tunnel, you know, like the uh, Pulsar 9000 or even like, again, the Deatomizer. Let's see if we can find a propane tank hanging around and see what it does to that. But first, let's group up these enemies here and see if we could basically one shot them. I can already tell the durability on this thing is god awful. And it provides the dance crowd effect. Don't forget that. My numbers are all over the place. All right, we're going to eat a wafer. The what? The what? <laughs> Holy crap, man. Holy moly. That was insane. 939,000 damage. Wow, look at those numbers, man. I love piercing weapons so much all right we got a smasher here Let's see what we can do here it definitely double hits on the same target very similar to the deatomizer i'm also not getting damage numbers which is interesting unless i keep missing but i mean it's me i never miss 400 400k on an elemental smasher 261k It seems to sometimes not hit, though. That's weird, man. 
But look at this, since all of these smashers are just laid to up together, every shot hits every one. Wow, look at that. Oh, I've been forgot to eat my wafers. This should be better now. Okay, the damage seems to be a little wonky. A little bit of hit detection seems to be going on. Stop switching me to that gun. Nice, it's gonna hurt. All right, we're gonna eat another wafer here. <clears throat> and we're fully buffed up, ready to go. Again, nothing pierces these damn shielders. I think I'm gonna have to make an energy. I'm only hitting for 10k now. That's really, really weird. I should not be hitting for that little. Or 118, I'm sorry, 100k. That's, that's very interesting for the different amount of damage I've been hit, hitting for. It's, uh, and I'm not getting numbers every time. Okay, I figured it out. I understand what's going on with this gun. So what is happening here is that every bounce triggers the explosion effect. So every single time this thing bounces, you do damage with it. But it needs to have, you can see on the ground, that ring on the bottom. Unless it directly pierces an enemy, it looks like it needs to have that ring on the ground to do damage. But you can do cool stuff like this and double bounce it onto a smasher. Um, which should, in some cases, allow you to hit twice. Because it's only a rocket launcher and I don't want this video to go too long, I just want to do a wrap it up quick pros and cons of exactly what this rocket launcher brings to the table. It does some very unique stuff. It's definitely worth perking up and especially if this is your first rocket launcher in the game, you are very lucky. It's fantastic. There's nothing wrong with it. So first, the pros. It hits like a truck, allowing for multiple hits on one target. If they all crit playing a proper build, you're looking at eight times five, 4.5 million damage. A ridiculous amount of damage that can hit on multiple targets. It's a really strong gun. It also increases a, or it also introduces a new kind of crowd control. If you saw it in the video, 90% of the time, if I hit something dead on, they would do this weird hop mechanic, allowing you to get another half of a second of crowd control. The weapon does cause them to dance, which is increased crowd control as well. And then the biggest one is definitely it does not blow up propanes. So it has a staple in all endurance builds, especially for the host. Now let's talk about some cons. The durability on it is terrible. 15 shots, you're going to be burning through these like no joke. The hit detection seems to be a little off and it's going to take some time to get used to it. Also, it's a projectile, meaning once again, it doesn't blow up propanes, but you do have to make sure you get your shots hit correctly, leading your shots, shooting at the ground, etc. The rocket launcher is very, very strong. It's going to be in my loadout, especially for endurance. Make sure to pick it up. The fact that you can shoot down tunnels with a piercing weapon is not to be underestimated. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was insightful and helped you out and it helped you make a decision. I really like the rocket launcher. I say perk it up. If you guys like streams, I stream five to six days a week over at twitch.tv slash rounded tic tac. We've been playing a lot of Borderlands 3 over there, but we still have Fortnite as our main game. We'd love to have you come by and say what's up. Speaking of Borderlands, first video for that on YouTube is coming out tomorrow. I wanted to make sure I knew what I was talking about before I posted anything. And lastly, if you're looking for a way to support me, the stream, or anything that I do, you can always use creator code OOTICTACOO in the Epic Games Store. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you on the next one. Hopefully we get some more content soon. I have a few ideas for videos as well. We'll see you then. Tic Tac out.